Hello guys, welcome to a brand new video. Finally, the skins that I've been wanting to review for a very long time on the PlayStation 3 edition has finally came. So, the skins that I have created today, I'm going to review them because I feel like that everybody should know the skins that I've created. I don't want anyone to go around saying, yeah, I created skins that really you didn't. So, anyway, so, um, the backup for this, for you to play with these skins... Uh, it's going to be at the channel of the guy who created the backup. His name is Fox the Gamer Kid. So I'll go ahead and leave his name in the description down below. And you can look him up and you can go subscribe to his channel. So today I'm reviewing every skin that I have created. And uh, I want you guys to tell me what you think. So let's start from skin one. So obviously this one. This one's called the Dark Hoodie Ender 505. And this one is supposed to be where he was, uh, basically, Entity 303 always wearing a hoodie, and his eyes inside the hoodie always always glows and stuff, so, uh, I created my own hoodie and made his eyes glow inside the hoodie, so I went ahead and, uh, did something similar to what Entity 303 has done, because, you know, he's also related to Entity 303, but, uh, if, you, if I had to rate the scale between one... To ten, I give this skin a seven and a half. Reason why I give this skin a seven and a half because it's not the best scary skin I've created, but it's least it's scary enough to where I can prank kids online. So, yeah, I hope you guys like this skin. Please rate this skin in the description down below, or not the description down below, but the uh, comment. That's what I meant. It's five o'clock in the morning, so I'm not one hundred percent awake yet, but. Yeah, this is the yeah, Anderson 505 in a hoodie with the eyes glowing inside the hoodie. So, this is the first skin I've created, so let's move on from there. <laughs> yep, see, there's Fox. Now, this guy here, he's a very, very, very awesome dude. He helps a lot of people out. He's very fantastic and stuff. I didn't create this skin, obviously, but I do thank him for putting this skin inside the backup. But, hey, dude. If you listen to this video, I want to say thank you for putting my skins inside the backup. So, um, I will eventually play with you, but, you know, I'm going to be reviewing every skin. But, uh, go subscribe to Fox. He's a very cool guy. If you ever wanted him to put some skins inside of your backup, he would. Just text him on, either, like, you can either email him or send him on Twitter. And I'll leave his Twitter name below. You can look him up on Twitter. So, yep, that's Fox. So, let's get back on track. Now, this one, guys, this is also Ender Safe Level 5. But if you're curious, something's different about the skin. Everything else about it is completely normal. But if you look on top of the head of the skin, there's no hat. But I do give this skin a name. This skin is called the Angry Ender Safe Level 5 Without Hat. If you wonder why I took away the hat, because a lot of people today would wonder, hey, you, this guy always wears a hat, but what would he look like without a hat? Oh my god, I'm going to kill that stinking sheep. Go, 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 you stupid sheep. I don't want you in my video. Ignore that. Okay, so, yeah, so this is the Angry Ender State 505 skin without the hat, so eventually everyone's going to know what the skin's going to look like. So, I went ahead and created the skin without the hat, I erased the hat, and made it look like what it will look like without the hat, so, please rate what the skin looks like in your opinion, like, if I had to rate myself between a scale between 1 to 5, or otherwise the scale 1 to 10, I'll give the skin at least an 8 because, personally, I don't technically create my own skins a lot because a lot of times when I do create my own skins, I don't personally like a lot of them because I don't go in deep detail like a lot of people do. But mine is basically related to the Steve skins. I like Steve skin himself. But uh, every time I create a skin, I always make it related to the Steve skin or Herobrine skin, which way it goes. So... This is a pretty cool skin. It's scary. It also makes your eyes glow in the dark, especially when it's yellow, when it's angry and stuff. But, uh, yeah. So this is Anderson 505 Angry Version without the hat. 
So, let's move on from this skin and continue but move on. So, everybody should know what the C and the T is supposed to stand for. This is the Crazy Twin Brothers show uh, skin 1. Well, uh, this one is obviously related to the Steve skin as well because every detail from f back to front on the head <coughs> without the eyebrows, obviously. I had the eyebrows, but um, I went ahead and added the eyebrows so it would actually make more sense, make it look like it's an actual skin because a lot of skins don't have eyebrows, so we look a lot, it would be, look a lot weirder if we didn't have eyebrows, so I went ahead and had eyebrows. But anyway, so... This skin, on the other hand, I like it. It's a pretty cool skin. A lot of detail with the pants and the shirt and the belt. So, if I get this skin a rate, I'll definitely give it a 9. Here's why. Because I loved how I detailed the T and the C on the shirt. I even like how I did the pants and the, uh, the skin itself. It's pretty neat looking. So, uh, if you want to... Comment what's your opinion and what's your skill between 1 to 10 will be on this skin. Leave it in the comments below. So, let's move on from this skin and move on to the next one. Uh, shoot. So, let me go back. Okay, so this skin right here is called the Bloody Angry Anderson 505 without the hat. I removed the hat. Everything else on it is detailed. Everything else is the same. I went ahead and just, uh, I left everything alone because I felt like that if you wanted to use my skins, you have, like, different features on the, on the, uh, skin itself, and there's some that don't have the same features like it's supposed to, but I removed the hat, everything else that is on the skin is detailed, is not touched, but, uh, if I ever get the skin a rate between 1 to 10, I'll definitely get this one a 10 because... It's scary looking, it looks brutal, it's very, 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 uh, I would say, in me personally, I'll definitely say it's terrifying because you don't see a guy with, with yellow eyes and, uh, just goes around Minecraft covered in blood, so I do give this, this one a credit, a lot of credits for my own art, basically, so, if you want to go ahead and leave your skill between 1 and 10 on this skin, Leave it in the comments down below. So let's move on from that. Now, you guys have not seen this one yet, but this is supposed to be the mother that took care of Ender's 505. So this is the girl that actually took care of Ender's 505 when he was, ex uh, ex after the scientists actually did the science project on Herobrine and Entity 303. So I went ahead and took, uh... I went to look on, on the internet to see what kind of girl skins they have. I'm not a very good girl designer, so I went ahead and just designed my own girl skin. It kind of looks like a teenage girl skin, but in me personally, it is what it is. Don't judge by my work. I tried my very best. But yeah, this is the mother of Anderson 505. So if I had to get this skin any type of rate, I'll definitely give this skin a 6. It's not that great looking, me personally. I thought I could do better, but I do not create a lot of girl skins often, so I do give this one at least a 6. But, uh, I like it. I don't, I would not probably not use it very often, but I do like it though. But leave your opinion and leave your scale between 1 and 10 on this skin. And let me know in the comments down below. So let's move on from this skin. And this is the Crazy Twin Brothers show skin 2. Well, um, if you're curious why there's a wristband that has rainbows on it. Yes, I am gay and stuff. I am homosexual. I am homosexual, by the way. So don't judge me. It's love. Don't, like, you know, just don't, like, fucking... Leave my my channel because of my sexuality. That'd be dumb as crap. But anyway, so I give this skin between 1 and 10. I give this skin a 10 because I like how I detailed the skin. It's really nice. I like how the shirt and the pants is. I like the shoes and the belt. Basically, I like a lot of shirts that's maroon. 
And I am, I like rainbows as well. I love the eyes on the skin. So, um, I like the skin a lot. I use it a lot of times in, in battle mode. I am able to like it to use it to show my friends on, on, uh, online. But not on PlayStation 4 because I can't post on my PlayStation 4 because I'll just get banded. But, uh, <clears throat> Leave your comment down below what you think of this skin. But like I said, the skin is called the Crazy Train Brothers Show skin version two. So this is the second version of me. But uh, leave your leave your scale on the description down below. And let me know. I had time. So let's move on. Okay, so let me go back to the skin pack again. Now, I know I showed you a picture of this couple months back but this one is called the scientist anderson 505 so you know i went ahead and did some detail on my own art on my own art on the skin i gave it a blue scientist coat i gave it white scientist glasses and stuff and um i think the skin's neat i like it a lot it's pretty cool but uh, if I had to rate this skin anything, I would definitely give this skin at least an 8. Because the skin has a lot of detail in it. It's not the best skin I created for, Ender for Anderson 505. But I do give this skin a lot of credit. It's very nice. It looks kind of like a nurse a little bit with the blue jacket. But it's still uh, a nice skin. But leave your opinion in the comments as well. Leave your scale a description down below as well but whatever but anyways you get what I'm saying let's move on now everyone knows who this Odyssey is anyway so this is supposed to be Enderson 505 but this is supposed to be the human form so this one on our hand this is what Enderson 505 used to look like before he became a demonic basically Enderson this is what he used to look like when he was alive it's very nice looking at least a good amount of detail on it. It's, uh, got, like, um, a lot of detail to the Steve skin, obviously, but, I, like I said, I don't go into a lot of deep detail on it because it would just take too much time. So I went ahead and just did something simple and just create something that's at least enough where I can recognize the skin. But, uh, you know, so if you're curious, if the eyes are white, no, they're supposed to be light gray. The light gray and the pupils are supposed to be orange, obviously, as, as you can see. But the pupils are supposed to glow because the eyes are gray. So, yeah, this is the Human Enderson 505. Hope you guys like it. And let's move on from this skin and continue our journey from there. And why does it keep on, keep on telling me to go to the favorite skins? Okay, so, um... This skin right here, obviously, um, it's Villager Brian, obviously, but I didn't create this skin, but what I did was I downloaded the skin from the Google app, obviously, looked them up on images, went on to the Minecraft Planet app type thing on Google, downloaded the skin, and edited the eyes and stuff, and if you're curious in the nose... Is not it's not like on the face on uh, like um let's put it this way the nose on their hand is not like out like like it's supposed to like a normal nose would be but it's actually on the face I will go with there see I what I did was instead of it being like off its face it's actually on his face just like a normal person would be but yes. This is supposed to be related to the same mob from the Herobrine mod. So, uh, yes, I do like the skin. It's pretty nice, but I didn't create the skin, but all I did was edit it, basically. So let's move on from this skin and leave your scale in the description down below. And this is the Hooded Anderson 505, just like I said, related to the Entity 303 skin. Um... This skin on their hand, it's a hoodie, but it's not the dark version where his eyes will glow inside of the hoodie. But it's the same color of a shirt. It's pretty, it's pretty much like a hooded version, but it's not like where he's going to be in the cave with a darker hoodie glowing inside the hoodie. 
like Edge T303's hoodie would do, because his eyes are red, obviously. But this is the first hoodie, uh, entity, um, not entity, but Edge 705 skin. This is the first one I created. So, uh, if I were to give the skin any scales, I would definitely give this skin at least a eight and a half. It's not, a, it's not like, uh, it's not like super, super, super cool looking, but at least it's a pretty cool skin you can use. Different. It doesn't have the hat or anything, but I do like the skin a lot. It's pretty cool looking, especially for my own art. But let me let me, let me know what you think of the skin. Now, obviously, guys, we all know who Steve is. Steve is the first character in Minecraft. I didn't create the skin, obviously, but I, what I did was I edited it to where it'll have a beard. I hate Steve's face. To, uh, on the skin today, it looks dumb in my opinion. But uh, this skin on her hand, I like it. If I rate this between one to five, I'll give this a four. Reason why? Because it's detailed, but not to the point that I will have this skin as a default skin. But I did request this into my skin pack, so I'll have it to play with. But anyway, so I do like the skin. I hope you guys like this skin. Tell me what you think of it. Do you prefer the beard or the mustache? Let me know in the description down below. Or comments, whatever, you, whatever I said. Now, this guy's is obviously Anderson 505. But this one is obviously without the hat. But I removed the hat so you guys will know what he looks like without a hat on. So obviously, like I said before. But... This one, on her hand, it's detailed, but it's not, like, as detailed with the hat on, but I like it. It's just a basic skin, not too, um, not too, too detailed, in my opinion, but I do like it, though. So, I'll go ahead, I'll let it autosave real quick. I was gonna stop the, uh, autosave, but anyway, so... Yes, this is the angry, not not the angry, but the normal Anderson 505 without the hat on. Let me uh, show you the next skin, and let me know what, what the let me know what you think of the skin. Not much difference, but you know whatever. Now I didn't create this skin, but I did edit it a little bit, not very much. The skin on the face is supposed to be nothing. It's supposed to be flat. But I, ed but I edited it to make it look like it'll have a mouth. But I do give this guy the credit, whoever created the skin. I do love your skin, bro. It's very, very creative looking. I love it. It's pretty awesome looking. And, um... Like I said, I... reason why I have this skin, because it's very, 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 very cool looking. And I like to use it for people to look at. And they want to know whose skin this is. I'm like, well, I create this skin, but I did request it to be in the backup for my in my skin pack. But uh, like I said, I edited a little bit to have a mouth. The eyes I didn't change. It's blue, but it's not like where I'll have it on my own creativity time. But I do like the skin a lot. It's pretty decent looking. I love it. But if I have to get the skin between one on a scale of one to ten, I give the skin definitely a ten. It's very pretty looking. I like how this hoodie is rainbow, like gay pride and stuff. I like the skin a lot. It's pretty decent. So let's go ahead and move on from this skin and move on from the there to the next. Okay, so. Now this one is a zombie hero, Brian. I actually took this skin and edited it to make it look like you have a mustache instead of a beard. Like the normal one would have, but, uh, I like this skin because it's different, but, um, if, if I had to get the skin any type of rate, I'll give the skin at least a 7. Here's why, because the first version of Zombie Hero Brian obviously had a beard, but, um, I edited it to make it look like the, the default Steve face like it is today to make it where instead of having a mustache or not a mustache but a beard it'll have a mustache so pretty much like an updated version of the zombie hero brian but this is honestly you know just a 
different, just just a little different, but not very much. But let me but let me know what you guys think of the of the edited of this skin. Now, this is also me, cutie. Yes, I'm cute. Yes, don't judge. I am cute. But anyway, so this skin is obviously called the Christmas Crazy Twin Brothers Show version two of the Crazy Twin Brothers Show skins. So this one I created around Christmas time. If you can tell by the tree, I like I love this skin. It's very beautiful looking. If I had to give this any type of rate, I'll definitely give this skin a definitely nine and a half, close to a ten. Reason why I give this skin a nine and a half because it's very very cute looking. Definitely a Christmas theme onto the skin. Very very good looking. I love it. It's awesome. But uh, let me know what you guys think of the skin in the comments below. Let me know. So let's move on from that. Now this one over here, this one is called the Angry Anderson 505, just the, the first version. The first version of Angry Anderson 505 is with the hat. So I created the skin right after I created the normal Anderson 505. So um, if I had to get the skin any type of rate, I'll definitely get this one at least a 8 because it's scary looking. The eyes will glow in the dark better rather than orange eyes. But, like I say, he's angry. He wants to beat people up. He's not in a good mood. But, I love the skin. I love how I detailed it. It's pretty nice. But, let me know Let me know what you guys think of the skin. In the description down below. And comments. Whatever I said. Like I said, don't judge. Okay. So. Move on from that. And. This is the Crazy Troy Brothers Show skin version 1. But, with the hero brown eyes. If you wonder why my skin has Herobrine eyes, because I'm a big, huge fan of Herobrine. I love the creepypasta. I love the people who created the mod. So I went ahead and edited the skin to where instead of having pretty blue eyes, I'll have a scarier, it'll have scarier eyes to play with. So where I'll have my own version of Herobrine on my own skins. Like, you know, crazy, twin, version, Herobrine, boo, type shit. But anyway, so, I like the skin. It's very, very sweet looking. I love how the detail looks like on it. Not bad looking. Um. But, um. You know, not bad. I like it. So, let me know what you guys think of it in the description down below. I have only have a minimum amount. I only have a minimum time, so I'm trying to make this go as fast as I can. So you can at least have a good vis a good look at the skin. On the PlayStation 3 edition. So. Um, this one is the scientist. That created Anderson 505. So this skin on her hand. Is very very sweet. I love the skin. I love how I detailed it. Um, so you know. The skin has a very 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 good detail to it. The black thing on the shirt. Is supposed to be his. Uh, his pin that says his last name. And. So. This scalar hand, I created it after I created the mother skin. So, I took a little bit of advantage of time to look up some scientist skins and pretty much took these, a few pictures and put it into my own design. So, I gave it a white coat, I gave it some black pants, gave it some gray shoes, and the face obviously looks like the Steve skin a little bit. Black eyebrows. And the hands on their hand, just like the Steve skin. Um, like I said, the skin is pretty sweet. If I had to give the skin any type of rate, I would definitely give the skin a 10. Because this is my first version of a scientist skin. And I do give the skin a lot of credit. Because I don't normally do this good when it comes to scientist skins. But I do love it a lot. It's pretty sweet looking. Uh, I would use it a lot of times, but uh, let me know what you guys think of it in the description or comments below. So let me go, let me know what you guys think. And so from there, this is the bloody Anderson Final Five angry version with the hat on. So this skin's pretty sweet. It's pretty scary looking. I could definitely troll people with this skin. You know, whether they're building or something, I'm not going to see a guy with orange eyes, dash, yellow eyes, with blood all covered on him. <coughs> Just stare at him because he's angry at you. He wants to kill you. But, uh, 
if I could get the skin any type of rate, I'll definitely get the skin at least a 10 because with the extra detail I put it with the uh, skin itself plus with the hat on and stuff, it makes it a lot more uh, detailed and a lot more scary looking. But, you know, everybody's different, but I like the skin. It's pretty awesome looking. Not bad looking. I love it. You know, I love my own skins. I'm just glad I have these on my PlayStation 3. So, let's move on from this. Same skin. I didn't create this skin, but this skin is honestly the default Steve skin before the, uh, the updated version was made. So, this one is called the, the Tuxedo Steve version 1, I think. But, um, I don't have any credit with this skin. I just requested it into the pack. So, uh, whoever created this skin, I do give you all the credit. I'm not stealing your credit. I'm just reviewing the skin. So, I love the skin. It's pretty awesome looking. I love it how that it has the very good detail on the outfit. Looks pretty sweet looking. Um, so therefore... Uh, if I were to give this skin a scale, I'll definitely give it a... I'll give it a 9. Because I love the guy... I love how the guy designed the uh, outfit on Steve. I loved it how he left the face alone and everything else. It looks very sweet looking. But dude, I love your skin. It's pretty sweet looking. I give you all credit. I have nothing on the skin. I have nothing credit. I ain't changing anything on this credit skin at all. But, uh... I love your skin, bro. It's awesome. If you watch this video, I love your skin. It's awesome. But anyways, let's move on from there. Obviously, this is the normal Herobrine. So, Herobrine, on the other hand, you know, very, very cool skin. This is the original version of Herobrine. You know, everybody knows that Herobrine always had a beard, okay? Herobrine is obviously the very first character that ever had. Everyone knew he was supposed to be the first creepypasta in Minecraft before multiplayer was even in the game. But there used to be a glitch where his figure would show up on different types of printings. Yeah, the skin, this, the, uh, this skin here used to be a glitch, but, uh, you know, Herobrine's uh, honestly a very big creepypasta. No one knows if he's real or not, but, um, I'm a big fan of Herobrine. I loved how the skin is based off the first version of Steve. But uh, Herobrine, on the other hand, you know, he's always been the original character. You know, the demon version of Steve. But uh, he's a, this is the exact type of skin that's also on the Herobrine mod. That's from the, the Diamond Minecart. He's, he's a pretty cool guy. Go subscribe to him. But uh, if you looked him up on Google... Herobrine always had a beard, so that's just why I go with this skin. But, uh, anyways, if I can get the skin at least a scale between 1 to 10, I give this skin an 8 because it's, it's, it has the original face. There's no changes to it. It's the original skin. I love the skin. It's awesome. Nothing changed to it. I've always w liked this skin with the beard. But, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. So... I gotta keep going, so I gotta keep it make this faster. So everybody knows that this is obviously Anderson from Five with the hat on. Pretty cool guy. He's awesome. I love the skin. I loved how the skin has the orange eyes. You know, just the normal Anderson from Five. But if I had to give the skin a type of rate, I'll definitely give this skin at least a nine because it has a lot of like it's the original skin. You know. Nothing has really changed since I made other skins with these details. But I like the skin. It's pretty sweet looking. Let me know what you guys think in the script in the comment down below. Okay, so if you're curious, what the heck is this skin? This is the very first custom skin I've ever created on the Pocket Edition. So, you know, I'm a, like, everybody knows I'm a Herobrine fan. I love Herobrine. So, I went ahead and took my own details 
and added some detail to the skin, at least some weird colored hair, and blue shirt, black pants, and blue shoes. And um, his eyes are supposed to glow like this. They're supposed to glow. But uh, I love the skin. It's pretty sweet looking. Let me know what you, what you think of the description down below. If I had to get this skin at any rate, it'll definitely be a 10 because it's my very first skin. I loved how the detail turned out. And yeah, it's pretty sweet. I love it. <coughs> so guys, this is my last skin. Like I said, same skin, same base off Herobrine. Basically just took the eyes and make them the, the brightest red there is. So this skin's pretty sweet, pretty scary looking. Definitely you can use the troll kids. If I had to get the skin a type of rate, it'll definitely be a 10 because it's very, very scary. Has the exact same type of form as Steve, but as soon as you turn around, his eyes are glowing red at you. But you know, skin's pretty sweet. Let me know what you guys think in the description down in the uh, comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. Um, it's it's the Crazy Train Brothers show. I love you guys. Thank you all for all for your support. And yeah, LGBT for life for me, bud. Don't judge. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. See ya.